My name is Ron Kaufman. I am a person who has been referred to many times as a man on a mission. He's on a mission to change the world and the, and the quality of service uh, throughout the world and that really, he exudes that. And he speaks it, he talks it, he walks it, he breathes it. I am genuinely committed to uplifting the quality of practice of service and the spirit of service everywhere in the world. It's a pleasure to be with you. Ron Kaufman is the author of Uplifting Service. Service is taking action to create value for someone else. The idea that when you set out to create value for someone else, when you start that, you benefit from that. So on one side is the service provider, and their job is to give you uplifting service. It's an ever-changing, it's a mindset, it's not just a get it done and, and, and claim victory. Service is in every part of our lives. There just isn't good service out there anymore. Well, I think there is a crisis in service today where not only is there a lot of bad service, but also a lot of service providers are feeling resigned and cynical or even resentful about their job. Ron's energy and enthusiasm are contagious. Ron's energy is never ending. He does such a fantastic job of keeping you engaged and keeping you part of his presentation. Turn to your partner, you have 10 seconds. What's the definition of the word basic? Go. I think that his delivery is exceptional. Service is all around us. It's in every part of our lives. There's customer service, there's counter service, there's mobile service, there's roadside service, there is civil service, there's government service, public service. If you're in the military, it's called being in the service. If you go to a church on Sunday, it's called a service. When you die, you'll get a memorial service everywhere. He was having fun and you could feel it in the room. You will be awake, you will be alert, you will be alive, and you will be engaged for whatever length of time Ron is teaching and inspiring you. You've heard of the Genius Bar. Of course they have great products, but the experience in the store is also going to be a great service experience. You don't pay that kind of money just for the coffee. It's for what happens inside the store and the way that they treat you. The companies that are known for rock solid cultures, the companies that we've heard of and admired over the years, the companies that have that brand where you say, ooh, that's the service one in the retail space or in the IT space or in the financial space or in the online space or the new online player powered by service. He engages you so quickly, but with that engagement, he makes you think. I'm going to be asking you questions, and I'm going to be asking you to come up with questions that we can use at the end of this 45-minute session together. Yeah? Who do you serve? Now, some of you will say, well, of course, we serve our customers. Some will say we serve our clients. Some will say we serve our account holders, or our passengers, or our guests, or our patients, or our members. Some of you will say, well, actually, I serve my colleagues inside the organization. He really made me realize my two service audiences, obviously my clients as well as my employees. I serve my kids, my spouse, my clients, uh, the guys in my team, the whole community. How do you answer that question? Please turn to your partner. You have about 30 seconds together. Who do you serve? I call this the six levels of service and we're going to start low. I personally enjoyed where uh, Ron leads you down a path. He kind of defines the rules of what good service is and great service and, and all the levels. What happens if we take another step up? Uh, then you're serving someone the way they like it. What if we do something that they appreciate, that they value? But they didn't ask us for it. We just kind of knew what it is that they like and we did something extra unexpected and they would say, ooh, what a nice surprise. Ah. I see this whole row going, unbelievable. <laughs> That's a basic unbelievable. Give me one Swiss unbelievable, un one, two, three, unbelievable. And how is the service in your company? I admire your enthusiasm. <laughs> Here's my question for you, leaders of this great global organization. What's your paperclip? What's that one thing that you want your staff to see and hear you do where they're going to go, she believes it. Did you see what he did? Author of New York Times bestseller, Uplifting Service, along with 14 other books on service, business, and inspiration. 
Ron has been featured in the New York Times, USA Today, and the Wall Street Journal. I loved him. I loved him, loved him. This was the best, best session this whole week. This made coming worth it if I didn't do another thing. That investment will go a long way. And a number of people came up to me and said, that is the best presentation I've experienced here. I had a number of people come up to me and say, thank you. I got text messages already. Worth the time and effort, um, worth every moment of this day, worth preparing for it, worth coming for it. Was it worth the investment? Absolutely, 100%. If you want to have excellent service be what you're known for and it's delivered on a consistent basis, then you have to build a service culture as well. So then how do you do that?